In third grade, your place value chart is not going to be as extensive. It's going to go to the thousands place, and it's not going to include any decimal points because your students need to be able to do operations within a thousand. But one thing that you can work on with them is comparing two numbers. So I like to use these frames. When you compare the two numbers, your students will put them on the place value chart, and then they will start in the greatest place value and work their way to the least. They're going to be looking for the first place value that they see where the numbers are different. The first digit in these two numbers is a five in the tens place. Since these are both the same, we're going to move now to the ones place. These two are different, so we're going to put a frame around each of the ones place digits. These two are different, so we're going to put a frame around them. Now, whichever number has a greater digit in the ones place, which we have put the frame around, that is going to be the greater number. So 58 is greater than 52 because eight ones are greater than two ones. By fourth grade, your students will have a better understanding of place value and you can continue to add more digits to your place value chart. And you're also going to start introducing decimals. So it's very important for the kids to understand the difference between the whole numbers and the parts of a whole and where they divide. And that's at the decimal point. So we're going to separate the whole numbers from the parts of a whole. They're also going to start understanding that every digit is going to be 10 times greater than the place to its right. So as you're moving from digit to digit, each value of the digit is increasing 10 times. By fifth grade, we're introducing even more place values to our chart. We are extending further into the whole numbers and we are even going to the thousands now in our decimal places. In addition to understanding that every digit is 10 times greater than the digit to its right, we are now going to be talking about how every time we move to the right, each digit is now 10 times less than the digit to its left or as we move to the right, we're dividing by a power of 10 each time. We're also going to start referring to every place value as a power of 10. So the thousands place is worth three powers of 10 or 10 to the third power. The hundreds place is two powers of 10. The tens place is one power of 10. The ones place is zero power of 10, zero powers of 10 or 10 to the zero power. And you can represent the decimals in a few different ways. You can either represent them as a decimal point, as a fraction or as a negative power of 10. So the tens place could be 0 0.1, 1 tenth or 10 to the negative one power. 